three out of four Americans drink bottled water and one in five will only drink bottled water. And water is something we already pay for. Leading brands are basically tap water, often sold for more than the cost of gasoline. Flow for Love of Water, an excerpt of the new documentary premiering tonight both here in New York as well as in Los Angeles. Irina Selena is the director of Flow. She joins us in our Firehouse studio, along with Maud Barlow, head of the Council of Canadians, founder of the Blue Planet Project, author of 16 books, including Blue Gold. Her latest is called Blue Covenant, the global water crisis and the coming battle for the right to water. We welcome you both to Democracy Now! Before we deal specifically with the movie, Maud Barlow, this issue of the conventions, uh, talking about what is and what is not talked about. The Democratic and Republican conventions brought to you by Pepsi and Coke. Pepsi Center is where um, the coronation for the Democrats uh, took place, and Coca-Cola was everywhere on those delegate bags. Yeah. And uh, at the uh, recent Olympics, uh, you know, as well in China, Coca-Cola was one of the official sponsors. You couldn't bring water, even your own bottled water, in. you had to only—you could only get Coca-Cola water. I'd love to know how many bottles of Coke water were thrown away and to add to the pollution in China. No, this is part of a of a, what I call a, the movement towards creating a global cartel of water, kind of like we have a global cartel of uh, of, of uh, energy, where uh, you know the day may come and we're resisting it very hard, so it may not. We hope it won't, but that every drop of water will be spoken for privately by a corporation, whether it's bottled water, uh, utilities, the you know the the service of your delivery of your water, recycling, desalination, nanotechnology is the latest. Every, at every phase, water will be corporately owned, because what, we are a, a planet running out of fresh, clean water, which doesn't sound right, because we all learned back in grade six that can't happen, but it is happening, and the demand's going like that, and the supply's going like that down. And if we don't understand this really soon, we're going to find that corporations understand it much better than we do. They're moving in to take control of water. Coke and Pepsi, by the way, are under a great deal of criticism and resistance around the world, and so they're trying very hard to build their name through things like the two conventions, um, through giving money to schools and that kind of thing, through building pipes in Africa so poor people can access water. Because really their story is one of going into communities around the world with Nestle, which is the other big bottle of water um, conglomerate, um, and just removing people's water rights. So it, they're, they're fighting back. And what share of, of, of the market, uh, because they're, they're mostly associated in people's minds with beverages, yeah. uh, and uh, is, uh, in terms of bottled water, how much do they control? Uh, bottled water is, the, is, there, is where they're both making money now, because there's a real move by parents and schools against sugar water, you know, pop. Um, and so they're saying, okay, well, then the new beverage of choice is bottled water. And now, of course, they're, they're selling water to kids through these kids' bottles and the tradable bottles that you can, you can uh, get back and forth. Um, the, the, we, last year, we put something like 50 billion gallons of water in plastic bottles around the world. Almost all of it, all but about 5 percent, did not get recycled around the world. So these companies have a lot to answer for. And uh, Senator Obama's major speech at the Invesco Stadium, not to be confused with the Pepsi Center, um, uh, as you walked in, there were all these Coke stations, and they were handing out bottled water. Yeah. It's just, it's, you know, it, it shows how out of touch, even in touch, people like Barack Obama are with an issue that is changing. If you go anywhere in North America or Europe now, it's beginning to spread to other parts of the world. There is an anti-bottled water movement, and it's a very powerful movement. Uh, we're getting restaurants and, and city councils in my country, Canada. We've got a raft of, of municipalities and school boards passing, uh, you know, anti or uh, bottled water free zones. And uh, Why? it's because, Why is bottled because, water so bad? Because it's, the, first of all, it's the corporate takeover of water, and it makes people think that what comes out of their tap doesn't matter. So you're not going to be prepared to keep your taxes going for infrastructure repair. And that's the most important thing. Is clean, accessible, safe public water. Um, secondly, it's polluting massive amounts of plastic, ma massive amounts of energy used in the, in the creation and transportation of bottled water, CO2 emissions. And it's also quite poisonous. I mean, that the plastic itself um, leaks uh, chemicals. And if, when people say to me, well, I got a great deal at Walmart on my water. And they, why do you think you got a great deal? It's been sitting there for six months. You should not be drinking it. When you have a different view of bottled water, you actually look at that and think, I wouldn't put that stuff in my mouth, I would not. And it's unregulated, and it's less safe than your good, clean, safe tap water, which is what needs to be the, the goal here.